Hey everyone, you are watching Jet Plays. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com, a website about video games, board games, comic books, and other nerdy pursuits. And today on the docket, we are playing Castlevania on the NES Classic, continuing the series of videos. <clears throat> Sorry, clear my, my throat here. Uh, games from the NES Classic, and um, I have to admit... Sorry, just taking a sip of water here. That the first time I played Castlevania was about a week ago. <laughs> so my... Yeah, when the Elgato, before I realized something was horrifically wrong with the software, I was just waiting for things to load, and I wanted to do Zelda, but I didn't want to commit to Zelda, so I was just messing around, and I tried this Castlevania game, which I, I know of. I've known my entire life, I just never played it. And... I thought I was like, wow, this game is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Why have I not played this before? Uh, not very good at it, uh, but I see the appeal, great music, and man, it is super <laughs> hard. Okay, let's go with this castle. Boom. Yeah, get that money. So yeah, unfortunately, in terms of me rambling on as I play. Um, I don't really have much to add to the Castlevania discussion. I might, I've played... I've played some Castlevania 4 on the... oh jeez. It was on the Super Nintendo. I played... that was the, probably the first Castlevania I played. I've, I never made it very far in it, but um, it was that, and I played... there was like a... Puzzle Quest-like Castlevania game on the phone. Uh, that one I played. I enjoyed that. I didn't get very far, though. I think I ultimately just got lost. It's kind of like... I think it was the map of Symphony of the Night, and you move it around. But the battles were... Match 3 puzzle game stuff. I don't know how to use this clock. I don't know if that's pause. Anyway. We will continue to go. Yeah. And there was the the first 3D Castlevania game on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I bought the PlayStation 3 version uh, when Blockbuster Video was going out of business. And um, I got it for dirt cheap and was actually really surprised by it. I greatly enjoyed that game until I got stuck and then I just said, you know what, uh, I'm good here. But I, I do remember growing up, a lot of my friends were really into this game, and I can see why. I think for the time, it's it's very cool. Oh, oh man! Oh no, that's gonna cost me. That's the regular whip. Uh, I need, yeah, I need that thing. And let's get the while we're here. Oh no! Oh, this is not good, guys. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, one of the things that drives me nuts is the... Once you jump, it's the same jump arc, you can't control it in midair. I think the genius of Mario, why that feels so good, is being able to adjust on the fly. This game, I'm not saying it had to have that, but... It doesn't do it, and so it can get pretty punishing. Ugh. And this first boss, the first time I played it, uh, there was a weapon that dropped that made it much easier, and I don't know if that shows up all the time, or or what, but... Anyway. Oh man, I am sticking this up so bad. I think it was down here. This is the one. Probably not gonna live here, but yeah, that axe thing is so clutch against this guy. Otherwise, oh, because he just sits at that angle, and uh, it's really hard to hit him. Oh, and I'm dead. 
Great. I hope that axe thing is there all the time. That'll make it much easier. Yes. Because otherwise you can't whip at the appropriate angle. Oh, yeah, and you can't hit on stairs. What is this? No! I'm so screwed. No, I was right there! Please give me one more chance. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I, I will not let you down. Need that. What is the trick? I know... How come I can't just throw it all the time? Oh! Okay. I can just duck it? Really? Oh, that time no. There it is! Okay. Alright, and away we go. Yeah, we'll stick it out. We'll play through the rest of our lives and then. Which I think is just this. <laughs> and then I gotta get going. Uh, Steph and I got places to go. Yes. Sorry, I don't have anything else to contribute to the conversation. Um, at some point, I will play Castlevania 2. I, I know that that game is insane. I've heard the stories about how obtuse it can be and. Your progression is lots of you knowing super specific things about where to go that you would otherwise never find. <laughs> oh jeez. What is happening? I think the last time I played this, I did not make it much farther than this. These Medusa heads did a number on me. I think it's just a matter of... That was where I died. Oh, um, okay. We're gonna continue? Alright. We get to continue from here. That's not that bad. Let's continue. And then, gotta go. I should have saved I was here, so I don't have to do that first battle again. You know what this game reminds me of? A little bit, and I can kind of see... Oh, okay. Let's take care of this while we're here. I wonder if this uses the same gameplay engine as the Ninja Turtles game by Ultra, because Konami and Ultra are the same company. Nintendo at the time had a limit of, I think it was five games per publisher, so a bunch of publishers would set up sub-labels as different companies, and really they were just the same company, <laughs> to go around that particular rule. Yeah, I mean, it sounds archaic now, but it was a way of limiting publishers from flooding the market with really crappy games. And at the time, the market really... Ugh, that stupid... That one Medusa head. Oh. What, what is happening? I'm probably already screwed, guys. I'm sorry. There's one thing I don't miss. 
I, I, I know there, there, there's a, a market for difficult games, uh, the Dark Swords fans I'm thinking of in particular. Um, I don't have the patience for this type of difficulty in video game. No! No! Oh. That one was self inflicted. Types of games where it's just there's a very specific way of doing things. And when you die, you just get punished really, really bad of having to start super far away and. Things like that, I'm totally fine that we've moved beyond that. Very dangerous. Okay. Just humming the Ninja Turtle song to myself. I love that game as a kid. If I could stream or make a video of that, I would. But that game is never coming back. You know what? It's probably for the best. A lot of people. Oh, what? It's a one-hit kill. Oh. I know now. I know now. One, two, three, four, down. One, two, three, four, down. One, two, three, four. Okay. Alright. Whoa, what is that thing? That takes so many hits. And that pushback is so far. Okay, let's just keep on trucking and we'll go where this goes. Got her. We almost got her. Yes! Recharge that. Whew! Okay, where are we going to now? I have no idea if I, this is good progress. I, have, I wonder how many levels are in this game. I haven't fought Dracula yet, so. I guess not far enough. That's all I need to know. What does that do? This, this, the holy water, I guess? Whoa! What is this? Look so much bigger than the doors, I think those are. Oh man. No, no, not falling in there. Not playing that game. It's weird that you can use the your throwing items in, on the stairs, but you can't. Use the whip. And those are some really weird stairs. Okay. I'm guessing you can't go there. It's like a one hit. 
One hit kill. Man, this game looked great for the time. Really bad. Oh no. Oh no. That was basically just a hammer bro. And as you've seen in my previous video, not very good against the hammer bros. Uh, I need to find a piece of chicken or something. Oh. So close to something. Alright. No! At least we can continue. So, we're just gonna wrap it up here. Otherwise, I'm gonna be here all day and I really gotta go. Uh, but if you enjoy the video, uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the channel, youtube.com slash jet in third person. And check out my website, in thirdperson.com, for more videos and articles about video games, board games, comic books, and other nerdy pursuits. So until next time, I'm Jet from in thirdperson.com, and thank you for watching.